Hey there, my name's Chris. I live on a small island in the Salish Sea off the west coast of Canada. I am building a zero emission barge. Uh, it will be able to ca carry pallets or I drive a vehicle on and carry it or whatever I need up to about 10 tons. I've designed it myself on graph paper with a pencil and eraser. <laughs> Uh, it's a catamaran that will have two freestanding rotating masts, one in each hull in a parallel rig. The sails will have a pocket sewn into the leading edge uh, that will wrap around each mast so you can wind the sails up around the mast. It'll have solar panels, uh, wind turbines, secondhand lithium ion batteries uh, from Nissan Leafs actually, and electric motors. I started building it in the spring of 2019. I was so optimistic about when I would get it done. I'm probably still optimistic about getting it done, uh, getting it in the water by uh, 2022, summer of 2022. I think it's the first of its kind in the world, uh, which is super cool and a little sad. I mean, I'm just me in the forest. If I can do this, anyone can. There should be hundreds of these around the world. Uh, so why am I doing this? It's such a pleasure to give myself the opportunity to simply create. I mean, I just love working on this boat. I just get up, I, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my God, I get to build boats today. <laughs> uh, uh, to be part of the solution instead of the problem, uh, the world is degrading and I want to spend time in nature while it's still abundant and beautiful. Uh, you know, in nature, an electric boat is quiet. Uh, it's much better for the ocean, much better for whales and such. Just much better to be on a, on a quiet boat. Uh, less impact in the environment. Uh, to show that it can be done. And it's to be independent and have my own barge. It's fun. I want to have my own barge. Uh, have a way of earning money. That is my control. Uh, what else am I going to do? I mean, why not? And I suppose an escape pod if things really go bad. I'm a bit of a prepper. Uh, and as far as the environment goes, I'm an environmentalist. I guess I've been a political environmentalist since I was 11 or so when I learned that our economy is based on growth, which seems insane. Uh, the, world, the world economy is based on growth. Uh, that may have made sense a hundred years ago, but it's time for an update. It's time to uh, wake up the policymakers and those in control of the degradation of our environment. It's simply out of self-centered reasons that nothing has changed. I am willing to sacrifice my standard of living. I am willing to sacrifice your standard of living, if that's what it takes. And anyway, I think of it more as a change of living uh, than a sacrifice actions it's not about hope it's not about resignation or despair it's simply about acting what actions do you want to take what do you want to do about it what is within your power i've completely funded this myself i don't owe anything to the bank I have a jar with all the receipts in it i'll add them all up eventually i've pretty much paid for everything now i mean Although that's quite optimistic too. I have all the sales uh, to make, um, uh, yeah, eventually. I built almost entirely uh, with alternative energy. I produced myself with solar panels and a water wheel that I built. It'd be fun to show you the water wheel sometime. My table saw is gasoline powered, but I probably only used about 30 liters uh, in the entire time, the entire build. Uh, it's amazing how much I can get done with that. Um, as far as experiments go, uh, I've done a ton of experiments. 
I'm not sure how things are gonna go, but the boat is all modular. so I can uh, fix it if something goes wrong, take it apart, fix the piece, put it back together again. Um, I've used different glues, uh, poor man's fiberglass above the waterline, my own version of it. If there's a desire, I can go into detail on some of the experiments and uh, engineering and odd aspects. There are a lot, uh, like the masts, which have drawn interest when people drop by. I thought I would be able to make a how-to video, but it's a pretty huge project. I am concerned about failing, but not as much as most people. I guess because I've experienced so much loss, I've been close to death in the past. I just don't care about normal things like failure as much as most people. Uh, my motto is, I'd rather be lucky than smart. <laughs> and I am still susceptible to negative criticisms and fear. Please be kind and gentle with me. I'm trying to implement the balance rule. 
if you uh, want to give some constructive criticism for each one of those say something actually positive please uh, name something you actually like or are positive about that would help me a lot um, I built this entirely by myself so far uh, which I like I'm enjoying the process I actually wouldn't mind some help Perhaps actual hands or donations, I guess. I feel confident in my determination to move forward and complete this project and do good in the world. Uh, I believe you can do this too. I have upped my skill level through trial and error and just hanging out and working with people who have more skills than me. I feel like a magician these days. I can create. I can manifest. can do this stuff too. It's like baking a cake following a recipe, you know? You just learn how to use the tools and follow through. Uh, I'm actually helping a friend of mine build a little camper for her Ford Ranger. She really didn't know anything about it when we started. You should see her now though. She's just really, uh, really good at at learning and 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 using the tools uh, tools are her friend now um, yeah it feels really good to facilitate her uh, learning So uh, why am I making this video? I'm not sure why I'm making this video actually. Um, just to share I suppose and encourage others to take risks and find other people of like minds, find souls that I have an affinity with, a larger community in this world that wants to cooperate and make change. Plus maybe someone wants to come sailing. I built it with the aspiration of a possible offshore expedition. <laughs> Anyone want to move people's stuff in the South Pacific? <laughs> Bit of a fantasy, but who knows. Uh, for now, I just aspire to spend the summer sailing around the Salish Sea with the excuse of barging stuff. Room for some crewmates. The boat sleeps six in bunk beds. be pretty primitive uh, conditions in the beginning. Think of it as really great camping. This is just one of the projects I'm working on right now. I might show some other stuff uh, too if there's an interest. I would like to encourage you to do what you think is right in the world. 
I truly believe we have far more possibilities available to us than we normally access. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.